thank you for coming in and checking out my video. So today I'm bringing you another unboxing video review. This time I ordered from a private breeder from Louisville, Kentucky, River City Rift Cichlids. He conducts most of his business via Facebook, so you can visit his Facebook page or private message him on the information you see below. One thing you will encounter when dealing with private breeders is that most of them have to have customer service skills, as they have to deal with customers all the time, and Bobby was not an exception. We went back and forward messaging about his fish, and he was very helpful in answering all my questions. If you ever encounter a breeder that is giving you a hard time, I advise you to just move on and find someone that will appreciate your business. I really think that other than wild caught fish, it is a buyer's market out there when it comes to African cichlids. So find those breeders who go up above and beyond for the customers like River City Rip Cichlids has done for me. As you saw in the 360 view, there was no damage done to the outside of the box. One thing that the box did not have though was signs to indicate that there was fish in the box or handled with care. And since I did not pay overnight all the to cargo on these fish, I was a little bit worried. Now opening the box wasn't so hard as you see so far. Uh, I was packaged normally with tape all around and uh, my handy dandy knife sure made things easier. As you see it's styrof styrofoam all around the inside of the box to surround the fish to keep them nice and warm. Uh, he did put a heating pad as you see here. Uh, when he shipped them uh, the temperature was still a little bit cold so it definitely definitely helps uh, he also used newspaper uh, all around the the fish kinda like to use as insulation so let's go ahead and unwrap these babies right here now I did get seven fish from him um, they are on the smaller size but they are definitely the fish that I wanted so even though it's, it might take a little longer for them to grow but they are the fish that I needed so so the first fish we have is the white knight I did not discover this fish till recently and other than my red shoulder albino peacock I did not have much white in my tank so one thing that does worry me though is that since I have an old male tank I hope the white knight is a male uh, since it's hard to sex and he might be too young to vent but uh, Bobby picked it for me so I trust his judgment uh, so the second fish I have is the Niagara Flametails. I did buy two of these fish and they were on sex. As all he had were really tiny ones. So I decided to roll the dice and see what I get. Now the breeder male is a beautiful specimen. So it was definitely worth the try for me to do it. Uh, the third fish is the Ndoka White Lips. And I think these fish are a must on anyone's tank. The white lips make them so unique in my opinion. This is one that I do have to watch him grow though because he is pretty small as well. But after looking at him for a couple weeks I think he's actually growing at a pretty fast rate. Um, the next fish is the albino fryeri. Now I really like to have albinos in my tank. So this fry airy makes a great addition to the rest of my tank. Uh, they're not very common in the hobby either. I mean, I haven't seen people have them a lot. Um, and as you see, he's he's awesome. He's also growing at a pretty fast rate, so we'll see where that goes. Now I am putting this fish in my grow out tank. Uh, unfortunately, at this time I didn't have a quarantine tank. I do now. I promise. So next time they'll definitely go straight to the quarantine tank. Now let's go ahead and wrap these and again they're wrapped on newspaper and not a single drop of water which is something you always always want to see. Uh, well, well packaged, uh, double bagged and a lot of air. So the next fish I have is a turkey male. Now this is another peacock that is uh, hard to find. Uh, he is pretty small but he still you can still see these colors and you can see that he's definitely a male so he's one that I definitely want to see him grow uh, maybe two more weeks or two more months and he was gonna be a beast uh, and the next fish I have are the otter points I bought two of these fish as you will see here shortly and the reason why is because I love the way they look and the breeder male he has is awesome 
So I figured, eh, they're gonna be awesome just like the dad. And here's the second one. I had to have two, you know, because sometimes one is more aggressive than the other, one gets better color, so you never know when you might have to get rid of one. So I got two, and here they are. They still haven't gotten their color yet, but, you know, it's, it's all a patience game when it comes to this African cichlids, and when you buy them smaller. So I will go ahead and put these with the rest and have them in their bag for about 30 minutes, trying to match their water temperature, of course. Hopefully they can all fit in here, and there we go. So as I previously stated, there was not a single drop of water in the styrofoam. Now overall, I do recommend River City Rift Cichlids. All the fish came home alive, which is the most important part for the seller as well as the buyer. The packaging inside the box was superb, and these fish look like quality juvies. Well folks, thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, have M&M Cichlids, but most important, have a great rest of your day.